So I've been working on this paint by numbers since I think I got it back in June, maybe May. I got it back in May. It is of this cow, this Highland cow, a yellow Highland cow. And me and my sister have been working on it because we were like, I'm going to get off of social media. What am I going to do? And we did this paint by numbers. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. And um, we're almost done with it. I'm going to put the picture as the picture to the podcast instead of my face like I always do. I'm going to put the picture as the picture to the podcast. Um, so you can kind of see it. I'm not sure if you can see it on Spotify, but you can definitely see it through my Substack of the picture that we um did and I think like I did the paint by numbers so I wouldn't have to come up with a concept because I did go to art school and I did learn how to paint I was just like I don't feel like coming up with the concept I just feel like painting something and we did the paint by numbers to relax and to get off of social media and to find something to do and it took the whole summer, y'all. It took the whole summer, and we're finally done, and we're going to be starting on another paint by numbers. And you would think it would be messy because they would give you, you think it'd be messy because they give you, like, these huge bottles of paint. But they actually give you these small, like, uh, what is it? They give you these small like little tubs of paint to paint in and these small paint brushes and it's really not messy at all you just need a table a chair and a bowl of water and that's about it and then you set up your you set up your uh music um get you a little bluetooth speaker or get your phone and listen to a podcast or music and you just paint away outside on your apartment um balcony anywhere that you have space to paint um but anyway went to my grandmother's house today and i rarely get to go because i always have to work um in the fat in the past last months I've had to work on Saturdays so I rarely got to go to my grandmother's house but every single time I go to my grandmother's house and I'm so grateful for this she sends me home with groceries and um there's a lady in her neighborhood that goes around um she gets food from the food bank because she needs it, but they give her too much. So she gives it out to everybody in the neighborhood and makes sure that the rest of the community is fed. So the lady stops by my grandmother's house and then my grandmother gives what she can't use to us. So she always sends me home with groceries and even when she goes to Sam's Club to buy groceries she always sends me home with groceries and so that was very very wholesome I guess I want to say that's not the word I want to use I'm just very grateful for that but um went over her house today I saw a cat I saw a cat and my cousin brought her dog over and you'd think that the dog would be lethargic just like by like the way you would look at it. But it's actually a very hyper and happy dog. It's a very happy dog. But um, I like lethargic dogs too. I guess that's the word for it. I like um dogs that are 
calm and reserved too. I like all types of dogs. All types of dogs have a place in my heart. Um, I give them scratches. And yeah, y'all. I love dogs. I'm a dog person. <laughs> but um, anyway, went over our house and watched Coneheads. Y'all remember the movie Coneheads? It is kind of like that same era as... Uh, is it Tommy Boy? Is that the movie? Where Callahan Auto Parts? The same actor. was That was in that movie. That played the main character in that movie. Is the same actor. That played the boyfriend in Coneheads. And I think they both came out in the 80s. But Coneheads is about this alien family. They have Coneheads. And they land on Earth. And they go through all of the earthly features. I guess I could say. Not the earthly features. But they go through like all the experiences of being on Earth. And this, there's this man that tries to capture them the whole movie. They end up um, going back to their home planet around the end of the movie. And then they end up back on Earth. Um, and the last scene is of her going to prom. You should watch it. It's a really good movie. And Tommy Boy is a really good movie too. I think that's the name of the movie, y'all. Tommy Boy, Callahan Auto Parts. Just look up Callahan Auto Parts. Tommy Boy. I forgot the name of the actor. I think his name is Chris something. Chris... If you know what movie I'm talking about, uh, leave it in the comment section, <laughs> um, for other people if, if you feel called to do so, but, um, yeah, I watched that movie, and I forgot how good of a movie that was. That's a really good movie, y'all. It is a really good movie, <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, when you're at work, you miss out on a lot of things. Um, the season just ended for me. Like, I still have my business, like my side business for social media. Even though I'm not on social media, I post from a third party app for my clients. So I don't have to get on the social media and we just reached a hundred followers for her page. It's a nonprofit. And we just reached a hundred followers for our page. So I'm trying to figure out how to bring more engagement to her page. Um and I think I think we're gonna post more resources. Cause people like resources, right? Tell me if I'm wrong or not. If you're looking at a nonprofit page, you will want to have resources. And I found this really cool resource because it's a um, nonprofit for child care. And it's these stroller bar workouts. I think the company is called Fit for Mom. And it's the stroller bar 60 minute workouts that you do with your stroller. Like you bring your baby to the workout and you do the workouts uh, with the stroller. So I think I'm going to share that um, resource. And maybe that will get a little bit more engagement. I don't know. Um, I'm just really excited about that. Because in the past when I've done social media for nonprofits. Because I was such a novice at it. I didn't track the... Um, I didn't even think about tracking the progress that we made. And now I have this whole spreadsheet of the progress that we made. And it's just been really cool to look back on y'all. So, but anyway, still on my social media detox, other than posting the stories. Uh, don't have any friends on social media because I deleted them all. So it's just my sister, so I don't have any reason to really get back on and scroll. But um, other than that, that's all I wanted to talk about today. 
And I hope you're having a great weekend. And thanks for listening.